Welcome to Norbury Wharf. Boats are our business. After many years, we're saying goodbye, Blackberry Bay. And that isn't just a cue for the song by the moon, although over the years it has been sung to us by boaters and towpath users, including children and a very prim lady chorister on one occasion. And the final tribute that came in the form of a magnificent cake from our boating neighbours at Norbury, uh, who astounded us with this work of art. Blackberry Way has been our floating home, our only home, as we've travelled the system. From London to Lancaster, from Leeds to Hangochra. Although she's of mature years, built by Colcroft at the uh, start of the 80s, she's made of good British steel and she's always had whatever was needed to make her be solid, safe, warm and functional home capable of tackling anything the waterways have to offer. And although she's been at home for two, Blackberry Way remains a family boat with up to seven berths if required. And at 58 foot, she'll go anywhere on the 2,000 miles of British Britain's waterways. Now we've always gone the extra mile Blackberry Way, so when the base plate showed some sign of feathering on the edges a few years ago, we had a whole new base plate rather than stitch on some patches. And the hull has now been coated in two pack epoxy paint and recoated just this year, in fact. Oh, sorry, just last year. The original Lister engine has been replaced with a smooth running workhorse, a 38 horsepower Isuzu. And the engine room is also home to a Robasto diesel heater, which was fully refurbished by the manufacturer just over a year ago. The calorifier supplies hot water, heated by the engine, by the Robasto, and by the diesel stove we have on board, as well as by a mains immersion heater if you're hooked up to a landline. Now the large cruiser stern is protected by an equally large pram hood designed and manufactured by Tony Saunders at Bethsaida Covers. And the hood drops quickly and easily for cruising, sitting beneath the tiller arm with its own cover and a bag for the detachable sides. When you step down from the stern, you enter the main cabin with a wet locker on your right, which is home to a new Stirling battery charger and a Stirling inverter. Uh, this is opposite a large storage cupboard, which once housed a second toilet. In the main cabin there are two full-length benches, beds, whatever you want to call them, with storage under them. And the L-shaped one makes up into a double bed, and the other, of course, into a single. And we find a gate-leg table placed in the L-shape makes an excellent dining space, and we have sat eight down to dinner on one occasion. The benches are opposite the uh, bubble diesel stove with a back boiler, which keeps Blackberry Way cosy from bow to stern as it feeds the radiators which line the length of the vessel. And on the same side of the boat you'll find a built-in chest of drawers with space above for the television and other equipment as well as books or DVDs. The spacious main cabin is adjacent to the galley which has a built-in gas cooker with four rings and an oven and a 12 volt refrigerator as well as sink, drainer, cupboard, shelves, all the usual paraphernalia. Moving toward the bow you come next to a cosy bunk bedroom with a wardrobe and shelves for storage. Kids love this room. Next is the shower room with a good sized shower, tall enough for me at 6 foot 2, and a recent addition, a waterless or composting toilet. Now it's proven to be effective for us, but if you don't like it, it's easily replaced by a cassette toilet or even by reinstating the pump out toilet we removed a decade ago, as the tank is still in place here. Now finally you arrive at the bow bedroom, which contains a fixed double bed, chest of drawers, wardrobe, 
and the beds have been extended by a few inches to give a full width double. The door on one side of the bedroom leads out onto the bow, which is protected by a cratch and cover. The Blackberry Way is a light and airy boat with big windows, all of which have double thickness thermal curtains to help you keep cosy on chilly days. But wherever possible, we've opted to install double or even triple systems to ensure we can carry on boating. The batteries are charged by the engine and by 420 watts of solar power on the roof as well as by a charger if you're hooked up to a landline. Whilst the lovely diesel stove will see you through the depths of winter, the Webasto heating system, controlled by a thermostat, will ensure you're warm in the spring and autumn when the temperatures drop at night. So in many ways, Blackberry Way is the result of our many years of experience of living and travelling on a boat. Of course, there will be things you want to change, and it is a boat, so things will go wrong. I estimate, in fact, that in addition to the usual costs, diesel, licences, insurance, Blackberry Way has had an average of around, what, £2,500 spent every year on everything from that new bottom to a better engine, from the diesel stove to the composting toilet. We've loved her and cared for her, and we hope someone will buy her who will do the same.